Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from the 2019 Hal Fennel Memorial Tractor Plow Day that took place near Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and was hosted by the Western Kentucky Antique Power Association and Garnet Farms. In the video, we're going to take a look at all 44 tractors that took part in the annual Plow Day. They range from model year 1905 all the way up to model year 1975. And look for my 350 horsepower International 4786 four-wheel drive tractor running a disc, smoothing out the ground behind all these great looking classic tractors. This video serves as part one in a two-part series on the plow day. In part one, we're going to see a parade of all 44 tractors rolling by and announced by local WKDZ radio personality and the host of Around Kentucky on the Kentucky Farm Bureau Network, Alan Watts. Alan will talk about each model and give a description of the plow that it's pulling. So let's head out to the field to hear and see all these tractors getting ready to plow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Antique Tractor Plow Day. Great day here. Great weather. Good have some great weather. I start off this morning with Mr. Third 520, and it's a um, 1957 model. Is that right? John Deere 524 and a two bottle plow. So, Mr. Seth Delaney, our first tractor coming through, he's going to help me here in a minute. So, appreciate Mr. Seth for being here today. He's uh, chairing this plow, this plow day committee this year. Mr. Bob here goes the runner. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate that. And our second tractor here this morning is. Mr. Ray Fleming from Hopkinsville. It's a Super A 1952 model, international, and then a 16-inch plow. So thank you, Mr. Mr. Fleming. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Nice full farm all there. Plowed of many acres with that tractor over the years. Bob, thank you. And then next to all, Glenn Parker from Henson, Kentucky. Good morning, Glenn. 1957 Farmall L model. Is that right, Farmall? And then that's 350 model. And it's a 214 plow behind the stone. Aaron T. from Hanson, Kentucky. Aaron has driven a 1953 farm all and then a Super M model and has got a 214 plow. It's a 1953 farm all Super M with Aaron T. A beautiful looking John Deere tractor here, Mr. Billy Carr from Cadiz, driving a 1938 John Deere G model. 1938 John Deere G model. Mr. Billy Carr from Cadiz. Thank you, Mr. Billy. Okay. And for Warren Springs, Kentucky, Mr. Bill Thompson driving a Farmall Super A, a 1951 model, with a Farmall plow behind it. Mr. Bill Thompson from Warren Springs, Kentucky. My neighbor just down the road there. Tanner, Win Tanner Wandell, is that right, from Evansville, Indiana, driving a 1955 Farmall 300 and a 214 plow. Mr. Tanner Wandell from Evansville, Indiana. Mr. Shelby Roberts from Hopkinsville, driving a Massey Harris and it's a 1955 model, model 16 Massey Harris with a John Deere plow behind it. Mr. Shelby Roberts from Hopkinsville. And a nice Farmall 460 here, Mr. Tom Wandell from Evansville, Indiana, 1962 Farmall 460 with a 311 plow on it. Nice looking tractor. I know this gentleman, Mr. Larry Larry Moore from Hopkinsville, a 1951 Farmall, an MD model. Nice Mr. Larry Larry Moore, a 214 plow behind it. A 1951 MD Farmall, and Mr. Larry Larry Moore from Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Next of all, we have Mr. Danny Axey from Henson, Kentucky, a 1947 John Deere A model, a two-bottom plow behind it. Mr. Danny Axey from Henson, Kentucky, beautiful John Deere, 1947 John Deere Model A. All right, next of all, we have Mr. Alex Pusel from Fairview, Kentucky. He's driving a 1968 Ford 4000. And a Ford 101 6-inch, 16-inch, one-bottom plow. Mr. Alex Fusel from Fairview, Kentucky, on this 1968 Ford. Hello, Alex. Great to see this young generation out here on these tractors today. Good 
carry out this position. Mr. Ron Townsend, that's right, from Dobsonville, Kentucky. Hey, look, hey, thank you, Mr. Ron Dobson from Dobson, Pat Patrick from Dobsonville, Tennessee, and driving a 1956 John Deere 420 model, 212 John Deere plow behind it. Mr. Ron Townsend from Dobsonville, Tennessee. Here's another young man, great to see this young man in this tractor. Gus Nolan, 11 years old, from Spring Hill, Tennessee. 1972 John Deere 4020. Beautiful tractor there. Nice to see you coming in on the tractor. There's a John Deere 680 4 bottom plow behind it. This is Gus Nolan from Spring Hill, Tennessee. That's his grandpa's first tractor. This guy has the shortest distance to drive today. He's the St. Elmo, Kentucky, Mr. Doug Bond, driving a 1967 Farm Hall 656. The new name is 550 plow behind it. And again, the farm model, 1967, year old to a 656 model from Pay Elmo, Kentucky, Mr. Doug Bond. Good looking 51 year old tractor. Here comes, here comes a John Deere 6 for 30, 1959 model, driven by Terry Rhodes, is that right? Carl Rhodes from Benton, Kentucky. A 1959 John Deere model 630 with a John Deere 810 314 plow behind it with the tall road from Benton, Kentucky, a 1959 John Deere. <laughs> this is Jason Turner from Hopkinsville driving a 1958 53 farm hall to the rim and all of the 314 plow behind that 1953 farm hall. This one is a great component of Hopkinsville. Good on the track, Mr. Walter. Mr. Walter Winstead from Mayfield, Kentucky, driving a nice-looking John Deere, a 1953 John Deere 40 standard model, and a 40 horse flat flat wing, two-bottom plow. John Deere Plow as well. Mr. Walter Winstead from Mayfield, Kentucky. Mr. Earl Oliver from Elton, Kentucky, driving a 1954 Oliver. I like that, Mr. Oliver driving an Oliver, it's 255, and it's a 214 plow, Mr. Earl Oliver from Elton, Kentucky. Bringing up the orange here, Mr. Dennis Walker from Hopkinsville, driving a 1939 Alice Chandler Model B. Alice Chandler 16 inch to a flat bottom plow behind Dennis Walker from Hopkinsville, 1939 Alice Chandler Model B. Mr. And Mr. Jerry Berkler, is that right? Jerry Berkler from Clarksville, Tennessee, driving a 1961 Ford 2000 Little Diesel model here, Junior you know, Tractor. Here goes, here's one, two bottom five behind it. This is Gary Berkler from Clarksville, Tennessee. Mr. Jason Turner from Clarksville, Tennessee, driving a 1959 John Deere 730 model with a four bottom eight cam John Deere plow, a 1959 John Deere from Mr. Max Clayton from Madison, Mr. Brian Gates from Pembroke, here's an FR to come and get here today. 
Next hole, we have Mr. Ken Taylor from Elton, Kentucky, a 1955 John Deere. It's a model 50, and he's got a 44 214 plow behind a John Deere 214 plow. And Mr. Ken Taylor from Elton, Kentucky. This is Tyler, Kentucky, Mr. Bruce Oliver, a 1959 John Deere, 730 model. With a 216 plow behind it, Mr. Bruce Oliver from Tyler, Kentucky, 1959 John Deere. Next ball, Mr. Taylor White, another young person at his age from Fairview, Kentucky, in 1967. In fact, the same age as I am, 51, he goes back to all of this. A K930, and then I have to go to the fourth, sixth grade ball. Taylor White from Fairview, Kentucky. Next ball, we have Mr. Nolan Powell from Elgin, Kentucky, in 1950. Case SE model, SC model, that's the 1950 case SC model, a two bottom trip plow, no one plow from Elton, Kentucky. There are geese coming up here, I'm not sure where the plow is on that geese, that's a geese. <laughs> 2015 geese, no plow today. There's a David Brownie from Madisonville, Kentucky, a John Deere 1951 model, Model A, 214 plow line. Thank you, Mr. Brownie, for being here, Mr. Donald David Brownie from Madisonville, Kentucky. Next to all, Mr. Ricky Rager from Hopkinsville, 1958 John Deere model 620, and a John Deere plow behind it, Mr. Ricky Rager from Hopkinsville, nice looking John Deere, Mr. Ricky. Thank you. Mr. Ricky, 1958 model John Deere 620. And Mr. Cameron Rager from Hopkinsville, 1953 International Super M tractor. Beautiful looking tractor here. Two bottles John Deere plow behind. I think the red and green go good together. 1953 Farm Off Super A International with Cameron Rager on board. Next ball, Mr. Bob Carrico from Hanson, Kentucky. Bob is uh, one of the folks who's put us in the head of the club for many years. A 1958 John Deere model 520 and a John Deere 214 plow. So, Mr. Bob Carrico is looking good. Look, I know you're looking forward to a big day today. Mr. Bob Carrico from Hanson, Kentucky on the 1958 John Deere 520. We're heading back to Orange again, Mr. Rip Woodard from Hopkinsville, 1960, Al Chandler, D14, and a 214 plow behind him, Rip Woodard, 1960, Al Chandler, D14 from Hopkinsville. This is Royal Yoder from Foxy, Kentucky, at 1958, John Deere, 830 miles, and uh, 770, JV, 555, and Royal Yoder from Foxy, Kentucky, at 1958, John Deere, Model 830. This is Mr. Daniel Williamson from Hopkins, Hill, Hawaii, and 1967, we're like uh, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, Next one, we have Mr. Jerry Williamson from Hopkins going on a beautiful 1957 Farmall 350. Two bottom plows. Mr. Jerry Williamson from Hopkins going on the tractor. It's a nice looking tractor here. We're getting a note here. The tractor that has the warrant for having all the tractors coming up right here. This is a piece of history right here. We saw, I saw this. This is the machine back at the uh, Rexman show down in Tennessee. This is a 1905 advanced 27 horsepower steam engine. Garney Farms, they've been in the process of rebuilding this machine. It's a beautiful looking machine. Give them a big hand today for bringing this out here. Mr. Charles John is driving this. Billy, there somewhere. Is he, back, is he back yet? Mr. Charles says there's three things that make this machine run. Water, water, and water. And he says it takes two people to really plow. He drives and Billy gets the, the fire in the fire box and keeps everything going. But a beautiful tractor, 1905 advanced 27 horsepower. This is originally owned by the Garden Farm. 
the head of the shop for many years or in his head and pulled it out a few years ago, had it restored, and it's a beautiful piece of history here with us today. We're going to plow with it here in a few minutes. It's got a nice uh, five bottom plow on it, too. All right. Mr. David Jenkins has the next three tractor. We started off with a John Deere 630, 1969 mile beautiful tractor, nicely redone. And John Deere 810, 314 pounded. Beautiful tractor this morning with a, a John Deere 630, 1959 model. Next call we have a John Deere 820, a 1958 model. And um, I'll get back to the John Deere 40. I've been looking at the tractor as I read the notes here. John Deere, 1954 model, 40. John Deere, David Jenkins from Hopkinsville with this tractor as well. It's got a John Deere 214 file. Nice little tractor there. And last but not least, an 820, 1958 John Deere. It is a 514 file behind it. David Jenkins from Hopkinsville has this tractor as well. 820, 1958 John Deere. Yeah, it's like you need back in the same time. So it's nice practice, great, great show here tonight. I think we might have one more. I think he's going to head on that plowing first of all. Mr. Tom Hastings, a 60 from Henderson, you got that 1975 model. International Harvester out there, a 1066 model. He's got a 514 plow, he's going to take off. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing all these great looking classic tractors and it was nice to see a wide variety of all the different brands taking part in the plow day this year. Not just John Deere and International Harvester models, but it was great to see J.I. Case, Oliver, Massey Ferguson, Massey Harris, Minneapolis Moline, Alice Chalmers, and a variety of other tractors out there working the ground. Stay tuned for part two in this series where we'll head out to the field and you'll actually be able to see and hear these tractors turning over the dirt. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 